Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to Dive the Planet. Today we've got something kind of cool for you. The guys from Aquaventure White Tip Dive Supply here in the Philippines have sent their portable hydro test machine here to Coron. They've set it up at the back of Neptune Dive Center and they're hydro testing all of the tanks that, that need to be done here in, in Coron Town. So if you've ever wondered how a hydro test for a scuba tank is done, let's go check it out. So the first thing we do is fill the tank up with water. So we start by screwing the tank on. Then we screw the full tank onto the top of the pressure vessel. Inside. Uh, they have a nice little hoist so they don't have to lift the scuba tanks all day long. And tighten the lid on top of the pressure vessel. Now this first part is topping off the water level inside the pressure vessel. Uh, once that's finished, they'll start adding air from a scuba cylinder. All right. So now they're just using a normal scuba cylinder attached to a booster pump, and uh, they're gonna increase the pressure inside that pressure vessel to 5,000 PSI. That's 350 bar. If you look at the scale, you can see that the numbers are going up. That's water that's being displaced by the expansion of the scuba cylinder inside that pressure vessel. Okay, almost 5,000. Out of pressure. And I'm done. 7 to 1. 72. Then back to zero. Okay. So they're actually measuring how much that scuba cylinder expands, and then they're making sure that it contracts back to its re original size. Uh, so they're measuring the elasticity of the aluminum that the cylinder is made out of. Uh, if it's all within the, the defined limits, it passes hydro, and it's good for another five years. Congratulations for this tank, it passes. And uh, to show that it passes, they stamp the, the date on the, on the cylinder so they know, so everybody knows that it's good to go. 